I have some distressing news for you tonight. As you know, I was planning my human baseball stunt, where I was going to be taped in a ball with friction tape, and then shot out of a cannon 400 yards into this mitt. <laughs> well, I am so upset after reading an article in this trash newspaper that I have lost all my ability to concentrate. What they said was, Super Dave Osborne will capitalize on anybody or anything just to further his own career. They said if someone is hot, Super Dave will use him. Well, those of you who know me know nothing could be farther from the truth. Anyway, I'm so upset. I'll have to postpone this baseball stunt, and we'll just have to show you a stunt from last year. Do we have any from last year? I don't care which one, just run one. We, we have the tape of you being crushed in the car, Dave. Fuck the car crusher, okay? <laughs> run the Mr. T spot. How else am I going to capitalize them? <laughs> hot, okay, run it. Car crusher. Everybody, this is Mike Walden, and I'm standing in one of the most beautiful areas in the world, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the site of this evening's stunt by the incredible Super Dave Osborne. As a matter of fact, I can hear him coming right now on his famous Super Dave motorcycle. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure and an honor to introduce to you the great Super Dave Osborne. Osborne! Yes! Welcome, Super Dave. Welcome. Well, thank you, Mike. As usual, it's a privilege to be here. All right. Super Dave, I'm going to level with you right at the outset. I have never seen you so nervous about a stunt as the one that you're preparing for tonight. Well, I'm, I have to admit, Mike, I'm almost afraid. Uh, Super Dave, as you know, uh, fears almost nothing. But uh, I am worried. This stunt is so dangerous. And, of course, I have to be concerned with the wind conditions. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm extremely concerned, but the networks have put up so much money, and uh, we've got the satellite beaming this to over 40 countries. I just couldn't let the public down. Well, Super Dave, as you well know, the two of us over the years have developed a great relationship. Not just as a great athlete and a great announcer, but it's friend to friend. And no matter what expense and trouble that other people have gone to, I know that you have only one life. You've got to be concerned about, number one, yourself. So. If you want to back out, we'll understand. Well, Mike, uh, what I'm going to do and what I want to do are two different things. Uh, Super Dave gave his word, and that's the way it's going to stand. Uh, let's get on with the stunt. Well, as you can see, Super Dave this evening will be wearing more protection than he's ever worn before. But now the question is, will it be enough? Super Dave is also being fitted with a special aluminum fiber fabric truss which will absorb shock waves in excess of 5 Gs of force. The straps, of course, are made out of genuine Saskatchewan sealskin bindings. <laughs> All right, now I do believe everything is set. Super Dave, are you ready? Well, Mike, I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Uh, I just want to say one thing before I do tonight's stunt. I want to say to my family, God bless you. Uh, without their support, I would never have the courage to do what I do. Ah, beautifully said as always, Super Dave. Are you ready? I'm ready, Mike. All right, let's go. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the winner of the toughest bouncer championship of the world, also known as the world's greatest bodyguard. A fine actor, a true gentleman, and one of the toughest men that ever lived. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who played Clubber Lang in Rocky Three, the one, the only, Mr. T. Super Dave, Mr. T. Mr. T, Super Dave. Good luck, Super Dave. Thanks, Mike. As usual, Super Dave is being mic'd with a special transistorized microphone so we can hear what happens in the stunt. Mr. T, I have some things I'd like to say to you. I have them written down here. First of all, in Rocky Three, they called you Clubber Lang. Now that I see you in person, it should have been blubber lang. <laughs> Where do you get your hair cut? In a pet shop? <laughs> you know something? I have trouble picking you out in a room full of faggots. <laughs> What's black and gray and rolls around the parking lot of McDonald's? Mr. T and a pigeon fighting over an old French fry. <laughs> Certainly. Mr. T has invited me into his tent. This stunt is much easier than I thought it would be. I thought he was going to try to hurt me, but obviously my courage and my fame has intimidated him. <laughs> Where'd you get your hair cut in the pit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke my 
Super Dave screamed like that since he was crushed in the car. I'm very worried. I don't know what to say. Where's Super Dave? Super Dave, are you all right? Are you in there? No, Mike, I'm in here. Where? I'm in his stomach. Super Dave, are you all right? Oh, yes, Mike, I'm just fine. Uh, that's a brilliant fucking question. You're alive, Super Dave. You call this living putts? Stand in front of his navel so I can see you. Before I forget, I just like to tell all the kids out there, don't try this stunt at home. You are a true superhero. And, Mike, and Super Dave, super punch. before I send it back to Bazaar, can I go on record by saying that this has been your most difficult stunt? No, Mike, my most difficult stunt will be coming up. Trying to get out of here. I'm just glad I don't have my boots on. Well, this is Mike Walden speaking to you from an elated Super Dave Osborne and a little heavier... Mr. T, returning you to Bazaar. Hey, look at this. This fried chicken hasn't been touched. <laughs> Mr. T, I hate to be impolite, but if you swallow a napkin and sit on a candle, I could have myself a formal dinner. 